Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe. I'm going to show you how to saute just some plain spinach. Yes, plain spinach that people love. You go to the restaurant, they have that perfect spinach. I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, you need to get some butter. And you put your butter in your pan just like that. And you're going to saute your spinach. You can put black pepper or salt any of uh, the greens you want to put in your spinach. So what I'm doing now is just sauteing the spinach at a slow heat. And you know, spinach has a tendency to whip. So what you're doing right now is just letting it take control of its own density. All you're doing is controlling it with the fork or a knife or either a spatula. You're controlling the spinach so it can do what it's supposed to do. It whips. For spinach too, it will, but it has a lot, a lot of nutrition, a lot of nutrition in spinach. Look at that. What it's doing is just whipping it away, and it's gonna be so delicious. Now you can add garlic to this, or onions, or mushrooms, whatever you desire. But with the spinach, you can do that. And this is about two cups full of spinach. And look like, look what it's doing. It's melting down. It's not melting, y'all, but it's. What is called shrinking down. That's all you do. And then at this point, that's where you put your garlic and other ingredients that you want to put with it, like the mushrooms. When you put the mushrooms kind of separate because some uh, mushrooms need its own uh, space to cook. And see what the spinach is doing? It's just wilting away. That's all it's doing is wilting away. So I'm using this spinach for a recipe that I'm going to use, and it's going to be a breakfast egg and onion, spinach, and cheese burrito for breakfast. This is what I'm doing this spinach for. Okay? I'll be right back the rest of this spinach ingredients and menu. This is Sandra. I'll be right back. Look at the spinach. Look how it's working. Ain't it easy? That is so easy. And a lot of people don't like spinach, but hey, you just try this. Add spinach to menus. Add spinach to salads. Add spinach to omelets, add spinach to a burrito, and people who don't like spinach will never know that spinach is in it. It's a sad to be right back. All right, we're back to make the scrambled eggs. I'm going to show you how to make some restaurant style scrambled eggs. The first thing you need to do is make sure you beat the eggs real, real fluffy. Add a little bit of tablespoon of milk. And you beat them real fluffy, and you add butter into your pan, and you're going to pull these in there just like this. Just like that. Put it in with me. I like your um, Put water in my egg container when I get through beating. So what you're doing, you're letting this right here, and then the edges get done. And what you're doing is pushing back. You know, push back like that. Pushing back to make those runny eggs go and cook as well as the cooked eggs. You just push it back gentle. Easy. It takes time. Now you can add your salt and pepper and whatever you like. But you're still it gentle. Just like this. See how you do it? Just like that. When that part cooks, and just moving the done part towards the center. Just like that. Keep doing it. Just heat got to be low. Can't be high. See how it goes? Just like that. Just like this. And then you start on this side too. Just push them to the side. So the raw can get done. Push them to the side like that. This one style. Scramble it. For a burrito. For a breakfast burrito. I love a breakfast burrito in the morning because it's one hand. You just hold it and you bite it and you got you a breakfast burrito with all the ingredients inside. See, all you're doing is just fluffing it up. Look at that. See how easy that is? Medium heat, not high, high, high heat. It's medium heat. 
And then you flip it. Flip it like that. Yeah. And that's how you get those restaurant quality eggs. Look at that. Some of eggs. There you go. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? Look at eggs, y'all. Restaurant quality eggs. Look at that. And that's all you do. We'll be right back with the other, uh, well, with the other, uh, step. Right back. All right. What I'm going to do is add some cheese chunks, and it's like this, and let it melt with the hot eggs. Let's flip it up top like that. Mash it in there like that. And we're going to get ready for our burrito. And these are the uh, chunks. I love the little chunks because if you bite a piece of chunk on your burrito, wow, that is good. Be right back. See what it looks like. All right, I heat my burrito up in the microwave. Or you can do it on uh, the stove or whatever you like. Okay, what I'm going to do is add the spinach. I make sure that the spinach is drained so it won't be so soggy on a paper towel. And put the spinach on like that. Yeah, in the camera like that. Okay. And that's how you do the spinach. Make sure that it's drained on a paper towel. You can have other measures if you like. And then we're going to spread it out just a little bit. I'm going to add the raw onions. Now you can saute your onions if you want. But I want mine to be raw. I love the raw taste of onions. And then the melted cheese and the eggs. Like this, y'all. Like that. Those eggs and cheese. Ooh, that looks so good to me, y'all. We're going to put it all back like this. Then we're going to add some sour cream. I got it all with the sour cream, y'all. Like that. And you can add salsa. You can add avocados. You can add anything you want to this jalapeno peppers. Anything you want, you can add to this reel. But I'm just showing you how to do mine. I'm not even in the camera, y'all. Forgive me. So I got, um, you can put black pepper and salt, any spice you want. But this is just a simple spinach, egg, and onion burrito. That's what this is. So I'm going to do is start right here and roll it up. Roll it down the end and roll it. Just like that. And that's my burrito. Now, I usually cut the ends off of mine. I don't like the ends on it too much, but since I'm on the camera, I'm just going to leave it on there. And I got the wrong knife, y'all, to cut it. The wrong knife. Okay, here you go. Right here. That's the right knife. I make mistakes because this is natural, y'all. Okay, that's how the burrito looks. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? I'm going to bite it and see what it tastes like. If you love spinach, which I do, and you love butter, on your eggs and cheese, like I do, and like sour cream, like I do, you're going to love this burrito. This is Sandra, I want to tell you, thank you for coming to my channel, and if I don't get to your channel right away, I'll be there soon. This is Sandra, I want to say happy eating, and thank you for coming to my channel. Mmm, and the rest of the burrito is delicious, y'all. And you can add meat in if you want. Sausage, bacon, whatever you can put with this burrito. This burrito is fantastic, y'all. This is Sam's and Happy Eating.